Hello Mint users. Today I want to talk about products. A product in the Mint system is a curriculum or a class template that can be used over and over again and which defines the structure of such a curriculum. For example, we start with the briefing session. After the briefing session we have a four-hour sim session, for example, and then we have another event which is the debriefing. These are the three events of the first day. On the second day it might look very similar. Again we start with a briefing session for example and after that we have the LOE session and then another event which is the debriefing. Now let's have a closer look into the briefing session of the second day. What are the resources that we need for this event? Of course we need a qualified and available instructor and we need the trainees, we need the captain and we need a first officer. Also, of course, we need a briefing room. Now, it is not enough to have a qualified and available instructor. It might sometimes also be necessary to have the same instructor in different events. Let's say, for example, in the briefing event and in the LOE event, we need the same instructor. That is what we call continuity the same instructor in different events. Sometimes it is necessary to have different resources between, for example, the simulator session on the first day and the LOE session of the second day. We might want to use different instructors, qualified and available, but different ones. And that is what we call discontinuity. Okay, then let's see now how this is done in the Mint system. At the moment we are here on the Mint page, but since we are talking about products, we have to go to the products page. To the products page. On the products page we have here a categories tree. The categories are used to organize all the products we have. If I click here on the root node, you can see all products that you have in your system. This is the uh, demo system, so we have only three here. Now, categories then allow you to group these products. So you can have a node flight training, you have a node maintenance training, in-flight training, etc. Uh, today, the example that I want to show you comes from flight training. So uh, under flight training, I show you uh, we want to create another category and this category is now called uh, let's say A320 and in the A320 node we will have another category uh, that is recurrent training recurrent training like this. Okay, so here we have our recurrent training, but this is at the moment just the category. We don't have any product yet in this new category. And to create the first product, we click on this icon, the new icon, and it opens a new dialog, and I have to size it a little bit so that it fits. Here it is. And this dialog has basically two groups, the product design group and the properties group. The properties are the properties that characterize our new product. So let's say we call it A320 recurrent training and uh, also we have to fill out the status. There are three different status, not published, published and archived. You typically don't delete products, you normally archive the products. The other option is not published. This is used if you need more time to design your product and it is still under construction, then you use this status, the status not published. Uh, if it is published, then it can be used for scheduling. Only if the status is published, it might be used for scheduling. And also, we have to give it a valid from date. Uh, you can say, I would like to have this uh, product valid from the 1st of February 2015. 
and that allows you to create a new product, a new curriculum for the future. You might know already, okay, there are some, some things that might change and uh, this way uh, you can give it a valid from date and then this curriculum becomes valid from a certain day on. So these are the things that you fill out here, but then we go to the product design page. And on the product design page, we have this Gantt area, and that is exactly the place where we construct or design this curriculum or the product. Mm, the first thing that you should do is to make it uh, very handy is click here and adjust the scale to your needs. You see, we have here at the moment now, the whole day starting from zero, to midnight or the other days or 24 hours. It's a good idea if you know that all your events in the standard layout are let's say between 6 and uh, 6 in the morning and 6 in the afternoon to adjust it this way that makes it later a little bit more readable. So we say 6 o'clock for example here now it starts at 6 and in the evening we say until six o'clock in the evening until six o'clock that's a very very good uh, tip to do this at the beginning of your construction now on day one let's say we will start at eight o'clock with our briefing session so what do we do here is our mouse we keep the mouse pressed for a little while so that the cursor changes you can see that i click now and the cursor changes and now I can create my first event. This is here my first event. It gets the name automatically, it's called new event and also it gets the color automatically. So we want to change both things. So how do we do that? We double click here. I double click on the event, it opens a new window and here I can select a new color and I can call it briefing. This is our first briefing session. Okay, very easy. Then from nine o'clock, four hours, we have our sim session. Same procedure again. I click here and then I go two hours, three hours, four hours. This is our four hours sim session. Again, I double click here and I leave the color for the moment. I'm fine with the color and this is our sim session. Okay, we click on OK, second thing. Now after this we have the debriefing session. Um, we could do it now in the same way as before. So I can press the mouse button here. I can uh, create this debriefing session but there is another way that I also would like to show you. I right click here, say delete. The other option is to select this one, which is exactly an hour, and to say right mouse click copy. And now you can see here this little shadow and we move this shadow exactly to the desired location, which is here, and just click again. And this is now our debriefing. The only thing that we have to change now is we call it a little bit different. We call it debrief, right? It's called debriefing session. So that is our first day. Also, it's a good advice sometimes to save the uh, product to the database. Uh, if you click on apply, that saves the data to the database without closing the window. So if we click on apply, it saves the data that all the data on the properties and the product design, all the data is saved, uh, but it does not close the window. If we click on OK, then the data is also saved, but this window is closed. So we only want to save the data to the database. So we click on apply at the moment. Now the data is saved to the database and uh, we can continue working because the window stays open. On the second day it was very similar except that we don't have the sim session we have this LOE session. So how do we do that? We select now the first day we do it this way we select the first day now all three events are selected and we copy that right mouse click copy. 
Now we have the complete first day as a shadow shown here and we move it to the desired position. It is here and we click again and here it is. So what we have to do now here, the missing piece is that we have to change the uh, name of this sim event and maybe give it another color. So I only select the sim session, I double click the sim session and I call it now LOE and give it another color so that it can be identified as the LOE session. If you want to change certain properties for more than one event at the same time, let's. I, I want to show you what I mean with this. Let's say, for example, we copy the whole second day, just as an example. We, kept, we copy the whole second day, copy, so it is here. And now let's say, for example, we want to give all these three the same name and the same color. That can be done as well. You have to select all three of them, right mouse click edit and now a little different window opens and we can select here a color. Let's say we want to give it this color and the name is any event. It is just an example, right? So you are able to edit or to modify more than one event at the same time. In our example, I'm just going to delete this one. So I click on delete and we don't want that because this is the two days class that we know from our introduction and I want to leave it uh, as it is. I want to mention one last thing here is, you know, the day starts at six o'clock and it goes to six o'clock in the afternoon. That allows you to take the mouse here and to move the mouse vertically. And by this, if you have a longer class, you can very easily go to different time areas. Um, what is the advantage of having it this way now and not the whole day? See, I go back just to demonstrate that. If you, say, if you have the whole day on the scale, the event is very, very small and uh, sometimes the text can't be read in this case. So it's a good idea to uh, maximize the time scale and uh, that makes it a little bit more readable. Also, this is some kind of vertical zoom. Uh, we have horizontal zoom that is this here. So with this you zoom in and with this you zoom out. Okay, this is for this lesson and uh, in the next lesson then we are talking about resources and how to get your qualified and available resources to uh, this product.